fall that much overnight tonight. We're only going to bottom out in the upper 50s to low 60s. Now, uh, this is average for this time of year. The temperatures are right on par with where we should be. Overnight lows uh, are really right in line with uh, those average seasonal temperatures as well. So uh, we'll be a cool start up into Woodland Park overnight tonight in the low 50s just before sunrise. But all that to say high pressure that day uh, is parked right over the southwestern tier of the US is going to bring back some heat for us for the next couple of days uh, in a pretty big way. So as that high pressure starts to meander towards uh, right around southwestern Colorado in the four corners uh, that will make for temperatures soaring well into the 90s tomorrow. Low 100s across the eastern Plains. High pressure gets a little bit stronger for us. You'll notice it starts to uh, spread out just a bit as this next little incoming trough tries to push this high pressure south, but it's going to hang on through Friday, and that's going to make for one of our hottest days of the work week will be Friday, and then we'll start to cool things back off through the weekend. Satellite and radar right now, you got to go pretty far south to uh, find any showers and storms across the eastern sections of New Mexico, the high plains of West Texas. You'll notice a few returns showing up here right around southern Colorado, uh, but most areas are trending on the dry side. These uh, showers moving across parts of Montana are actually going to ride up and over this area of high pressure uh, stationed across the four corners. So it is going to keep our weather here uh, dry tonight and through Thursday and most of the day on Friday. Let me show you this though. As you look at the future cast, uh, you will notice that we're going to have a few little stray showers and storms across the mountains tomorrow. Well, after that 3 p.m. time frame, most of the first half of the day is dry region wide. Then those clouds start to build in after 2 o'clock. A few showers and storms well east of El Paso County, where we could have some measurable precipitation right around La Junta, Los Animas, Rocky Ford. Uh, but I think most of the rain reaching the ground will happen west of I-25. Uh, the surface is still very dry. So what you're probably going to notice tomorrow more so than anything is going to be what we call Virga, which is rain evaporating before it reaches the ground. So expect the surface to stay dry tomorrow, but you'll start to get a little bit more cloud cover for the latter half of the afternoon. And and any storms that are ongoing here across the San Luis Valley will linger well into the evening time frame. Then we just kind of reset on Friday, but I will tell you Friday holds about a 20 to 30 percent chance of a few showers and storms for some of our zones, places like Canyon City, uh, areas across Pueblo County, uh, Colorado Springs, about a 20 to 30 percent chance. And uh, you'll notice those storms will uh, be across parts of Pueblo and areas around the Arkansas River Valley between that 4 and 6 p.m. time frame on Friday. So the chances for storms are very low. Hello. But uh, most of that really starts to surface on Friday. I think most of our afternoon tomorrow will stay dry. Temperatures well into the triple digits across the eastern plains. 95 in Springfield and 94 in Colorado Springs. Uh, we'll be in the 80s across places like Woodland Park and 95 in Fountain and Fort Carson. 78 in Cripple Creek, so still a little cooler for some of our local mountain cities. But well into the triple digits for Friday. So this is going to be our hottest part of the week. Uh, we'll be overshooting that 100 degree mark across Pueblo and Lamar and Los Animas and Springfield and 96 here in Colorado Springs and Woodland Park uh, will be in the 80s. Notice the weekend though. We start to introduce that next trough coming in that will increase our rain chances very slightly, but it's more so going to relax our temperatures just a bit and bring our temperatures back down to where they should be for this time of year, which is in the middle to upper 80s for parts of Pueblo. Uh, same here for Fremont County. So even though those rain chances start to creep back in, they're still going to be small, limited, certainly not a washout. And then by the weekend, we actually get to endure some really nice and comfortable temperatures, comparatively speaking, uh, to how hot we are going to get for the latter half of the week. Back to you guys. Bring on the heat for a few days anyway. Mary, thank you. Time for a live preview of the roads right now. You